Hi everyone, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. My name is Gina Jones and this channel is all about fashion. In today's video, I am going to be teaching you how to draft a basic skirt pattern. And guess what? This skirt pattern has both contouring, which is a very big deal. There will be a part two where I talk about how to cut and how to sew this skirt pattern with both contouring. So do well to look out for that as well. Without wasting much of your time, let's get into the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like and also comment on this video. Don't forget to share to your friends too. They might need the video as well. Let's get into the video. So the first step is from the top of your pattern paper, you are going to draw out a straight line. That line is going to serve as the waistline. From the waistline, you're going to come down with your hip point. For this particular pattern, the hip point is 10 inches. So go ahead to mark it and then roll the horizontal line. After that, the next point you're going to mark is the knee point. For particular clients, her skirt length was at the knee point. So just go ahead to mark your knee point. And if your skirt is longer than the knee point, go ahead to mark the skirt length after. The next step is to come down by 2 inches from the skirt length. Length, that two inches is going to serve as the turn up allowance when we are sewing with lining. Now we can go ahead to label all the lines from the waistline to the hip point, the knee line, which is the skirt length, and then the hemline. Now it's time to start imputing all the vertical measurements. Now on the waistline, we're going to divide your waist circumference by four plus one inch. That one inch is for the darts that we're going to be adding later on. On the hip point, you're going to divide your, your hip circumference by 4 inches minus half inch. This is because our hip is fuller at the back than at the front. We're going to take this half inch we took from the hip point to the back hip point later on. On the knee line, you're going to take the same measurement you just marked on your hip point, but you minus 1 to 1.5 inches depending on how pegged you want your skirt to be. For this pattern, I took out 1 inch, you're going to take the same measurement you took on your knee line, on your hem line and then connect all the lines together using your curved rule. I went ahead to label the center front which is where we're going to be marking our dart from. From the center front on the waistline, you're going to divide your bust palm measurement divided by 2 and then mark half inch on both sides of that point. Then you come down to your hip point and measure 3 inches above your hip line. Go ahead to connect that your bust palm measurement divided by 2 on your waistline to the 3 inches above your hip point. Next thing is to connect your dart legs to the 3 inches above your hip point. Now it's time to add the ease. So I'm going to be using 1 inch as my ease. So from the waistline hip point to the hemline, we're going to be adding 1 inch and then connect it with your curved rule. This ease is to give room for alterations in the future. Moving on to the back pattern, from the center back, you're going to measure 1 inch from the top of the pattern paper to the bottom of the pattern paper. This 1 inch is going to serve as the zipper allowance. So I went ahead to extend the lines from my front pattern to the back since I'm using the same pattern paper. Note that all the measurements I am taking will start from this line. Don't make the mistake of extending it over to the zipper allowance, okay? On the waistline, you're going to divide your waist circumference divided by 4 plus 1 inch and that 1 inch is for that. On the hip line, you're going to divide your hip circumference by 4 inches and then you add the half inch we took away from the front pattern. Just like we did in the front pattern, whatever you have on your hip line, you're going to measure it and then minus 1 inch. Then you mark it on your knee line and also the hem line. Afterwards, you can go ahead to connect all the lines with your curved rule. Now it's time to add the darts to the back pattern. So from the center back line, we're going to take in a bust span divided by two, just like we did in the front. You mark your bust span and then you mark half inch on both sides of that point. On your hip line, you're going to come up by three inches and then connect that mark from your waistline to your hip line and then you connect the dart legs. Now it's time to draft the butt contouring. So from your hip line, you need to come down with 5.5 inches to 6.5 inches. 
this depends on the size of your clients but my client is small size so i came down with 5.5 inches so go ahead to drag the horizontal line and then from the center back line you're going to come in with 1 to 1.5 inches i use one inch again because my client is small and then you're going to connect that point to your hip point using the slight curvy part of your curve rule afterwards you're going to then connect that point to your hemline just like you see me doing here the next step is to retrace your zipper allowance since you've already done the butt contouring so from hip line we are then going to reconnect our one inch to remark the one inch that is meant for the zip allowance okay now we can go ahead to add the one inch that is meant for the ease So now I went ahead to cut the pattern out and then the next thing we have to do is to cut the waistband. For the waistband, we need to cut a long piece of strip fabric or paper in this case with the length of your waist circumference plus 2 inches and the width of 2 inches folded. It means when you open it up, it's going to be 4 inches, okay? So the length will be your waist circumference plus 2 inches and then the width would be 2 inches when folded and 4 inches when opened up. Since we did not take out the band width when we draft in our patterns, now we're going to measure 1.5 inches from the waistline on the front and back pattern just to take out the space that is meant for the band. So after taking away the 1.5 inches from the front and back pattern, I know I had to fold this in and now we now see that the band we drafted before we take up the space. So that's all for this cat drafting tutorial. The cutting and sewing tutorial will be up on my channel soon, so do well to look out for that as well. Thank you for sticking around, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, drop it in the comment section below and I'll respond. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Bye, see you in my next video.